Fox News Alert now. President Biden taking his blame game on the road, reacting after the annual inflation rate hit a staggering 8.5 percent, the highest in four decades. Gasoline, electricity, used cars. Try to get a car right now. Food, housing, all costing Americans more and more of their hard-earned cash. First it was COVID, then it was the big oil companies being greedy. And then President Biden in Iowa said this. Putin's invasion of Ukraine has driven up gas prices and food prices all over the world. I'm doing everything within my power by executive orders to bring down the price and address the Putin price hike. The Wall Street Journal editorial board out with this headline. This isn't Putin's inflation. The price rises began long before Russia invaded Ukraine and will be hard to stop. A bipartisan pushback as well. Look at this from the Hill. Democrat Joe, uh, Senator Joe Manchin asking, when will this end? It is a disservice to the American people to act as if inflation is a new phenomenon. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis tweeted, Biden could unleash domestic energy production to provide relief. Instead, he is content watching people suffer. And there is a long list of names of Democrats who are joining that way of thinking. Jackie DeAngelis, Fox Business Correspondent, is in focus today. Good to see you. To all see right, you. let's first of all, can we just break through to the truth? This did not just start with Putin and the war, and we know that, but by how much is that kind of talking from the White House wrong? What are the dollars and cents of it? Well, they can keep saying it's a Putin price hike. They can say it as many times as they want till they're blue in the face. It doesn't make it true, Harris. So about half of the uh, inflation that we saw with food prices and gas prices came well before for Putin invaded Half. Ukraine, right? And so you're looking at this, and the White House will keep pointing to this core inflation number, and they'll say, well, it didn't rise as fast as the overall number. That strips out food and gas. Food and gas are two of the most important things when it comes to the American family's budget. This uh, inflation has been so persistent, you can't strip those items out right now. That's what's hurting people. And so when you think about President Biden, how he's explaining this away, this essentially is a tax. According um, to uh, one of the analytic companies, it's going to be about $3,500 a year to the American budget. On average? On average. Per family? Per family. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's about $300 a week. Uh, okay. A Home Depot founder, co-founder, I should say, is predicting things are going to get worse. He's got a lot of money, but he still thinks it's I good. think no, okay. we can get through this deal, but like anything else in life, no pain, no gain. We, we're going to have to take a bit of pill. Higher interest rates, we're going to have to accept the fact that there's a chance of a recession. My hope is if there is a recession, it'll be mild. But my bet is it will be. There will be a recession. Do you think he's become Jimmy Carter? Oh, I think he's worse than Jimmy Carter. Wow, a bitter pill. That is not the kind of health care most people were looking for. No. Uh, and, and when you see somebody who obviously, as he says, can weather the storm, but is predicting something so dire, what do you say? Um, I say there's going to be a lot of Americans out there who they came out of the pandemic, they had saved some money, they took inflation on the chin, right? They wanted to have, be out, have experiences, travel with their families, and of course they're going to continue to put food on the table and fill their car with gas to get from point A to point B. But there is going to be a tipping point, right, where people just can't do it anymore. Maybe it's sometime this summer when gas prices reach their highest point seasonally, right? We haven't seen that yet. So, so wait a minute, let me just cut in for a second. I, the president promised. Uh, when he did this in November and then when he just did this with releasing oil reserves that this was going to make a difference. Now, when pressed how much, he guessed 35 cents. I don't like that word guess because why wouldn't he know? He I mean, should know. It, right. So what are the numbers going to look like potentially if he's so wrong this summer? Well, we're still over $4 a gallon, right? Because of the SPR release, we have a little bit of a decline, but we're still over $4 a gallon for the national average. You could see gas prices shoot up closer to $5 when we hit July 4th. That's the peak of the summer driving season. Also, remember, airfare has gone up because jet fuel prices are up. So people may opt to drive rather than fly places. And, and you're going to see this continue to move back. The SPR isn't really helping. There's one thing that will help, and that's to get the drillers to pump.
to pump oil. Now he's standing back and saying this is corporate greed, this is big oil, they want to profit off this, they don't want to work that hard. That's not true. I have a new special on Fox Nation. It's called Bone Dry. We go into some of the oil producing regions. We mm -hmm. speak to the drillers themselves and they say it, we have the 9,000 leases but we're afraid to invest. We're afraid to put our money where our mouth is. Because we don't know what he's going to do. Because we don't know what he'll do. Actually we're predicting what he's going to do is, is continue to wage a war on fossil fuels. Why would they invest? You know what? They're not the only ones feeling it. And when I say they, all of us who need gasoline for what you we drive. I, I mean, people are not going to go electric in 15 minutes. That's not going to happen. And those cars are so blazingly expensive. And they're now caught up in the same thing. They're, they're higher than they ever were because inflation hits everything. But does this White House have a particular dislike or understanding of farmers? Do they, do they know the kind of pressure it puts on farmers? Look at this. The Biden administration is announcing allowing more ethanol in gas this summer to lower prices, but that affects producing it. Watch this. I just had a chance to see uh, the work you do here and turn more than 40 million bushels of local corn into 130 million gallons of ethanol a year. It reduces our reliance on foreign oil. By adding this fuel to our gasoline, it gives you a choice at the pump. When you have a choice, you have competition. When you have competition, you have better prices. Critics are pushing back hard on this. One executive at the American Petroleum Institute, who you know we've had on this very program, says Americans are looking for long-term solutions, not short-term political fixes. And a director at a nonprofit climate watch group says this is a quick fix that will harm the planet and not do much to support consumers. And I say it goes further than that. I, I, Jackie, what happens to the farmers if they're not subsidized? They're, they're going to have to put crop down to do more with, with corn. They're, they're going to have to do more. Are they going to make more money? They're not going to make more money. It's going to make things tougher on them. Inflation is going to get worse for consumers on the food end because you're using corn to try to help the problem that you have with gas. What this administration could do is not only subsidize the farmers, but you really want yes. to get the drillers to drill. Why don't you subsidize them too? Why don't you incentivize Why them? Don't Why don't you say we're going to pull back from this very harsh green policy that we originally laid out? It's not working right now. Own up to it, admit it, try to fix the situation. Instead, let's ask Iran and let's ask Venezuela for oil. Real quickly, bone dry, your special coming up on Fox Nation. Do you look at how we're now depending on Venezuela, the dirtiest producer of oil, and, and others who are dirty producers? How in the world is that a Green New Deal for his party? It's horrible. It is a band-aid. It's not going to fix the problem that we have. And actually, in the special, um, a lot of these drillers and the experts talk about how clean our oil and natural gas production is Look here. It's that. the cleanest in the world. Why aren't we, you know, working with that? Why aren't we solving the problem that way? Instead of killing the industry, laying people off, it just doesn't make sense. Jackie DeAngelis, we look forward to that. Always great to have you in focus. Thank Good you to be here. very Thank much. You. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.